storefront payday loans have cost about 400% interest. Our research has found that the average bank payday loan costs customers 365% in annual interest rate terms. The Wells Fargo is the largest bank offering bank payday loans. Three other uh, rather large banks are doing so as well. The people that are getting the loans don't realize how costly that loan is going to be and that that loan, because they may have to pay up to 460% uh, interest on that loan, and they get caught in this, in this web, you know, uh, 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 this economic chains, and that they're going to have so much trouble getting out of. So storefront petty loans and bank petty loans are essentially the same product. They both have triple digit interest rates. They both have short term balloon payments that all come due in one lump sum on typically on the borrower's next payday. And they're, and they're both collateralized by access to the borrower's bank account. Only bank lawyers and bank lobbyists call it something else. They call it direct deposit advance. Everyone else, including their own customers, call it a payday loan. So what we've long found with storefront payday loans is that although the lender will claim that this is a short-term loan, you know, only for emergency use, what ends up happening is that the customer gets trapped in debt. The typical bank payday customer takes out 16 bank payday loans per year, staying in debt for an average of 175 days. Those customers who are most likely to get caught in a long-term high-cost debt trap are those customers who are least able to shoulder that kind of high cost debt. And what we've seen in, the, in payday lending research is that these high cost loans only make the financial situation of vulnerable individuals worse. Senior citizens, they walk through there with their social security check, just going there month after month after month because they can't pay the entire 300, but they can pay the $100 fee or the $90 fee or the Fort, whatever the fee. You are scared as an individual, you know, what am I going to do? You know, am I going to lose everything that I've worked so hard for? I just felt beat down, you know? I, did, I, I just thought I was on a merry-go-round that I was never going to get off. The question before us is clear. Do we give them 400% interest rates or do we say as a result of this national financial crisis, enough is enough? To shut these places down because they're ruining decent people's lives.